Okay, I had a, qu a request from one of my MBA students on how to solve this problem on Excel. Um, this problem came came, uh, came out of this book here. It's a production Operations Managed for, for Stevenson, a very good textbook. So if you're looking for a good textbook on production operations, that's what you want to use. Um, so if we zoom in a little bit here. They, they did two different forecasts. They used two different independent forecasts. And then they looked at the results and the actual sales were this and this is what they were this is what they had for their forecast and they want to compute the tracking signal for the 10 month forecast using accumulative error and using action limits of plus or minus four notice i put i always like to put numbers separate right in case i have to click on them separate this 10th i didn't because i know it's 10 months there so um so anyway it's always a good practice to put your number separate if you can when you're putting it into excel this here I just copied out of the I copied out of the out of the text out of the quiz and then I just pasted it in here and it, and it took it as number so I didn't have to retype it and I just changed the formatting a little bit but anyway let's just get into solving this problem so the first thing we can do we can go equals month and copy these down Oop, one too far and I guess we could also Go ahead and copy these two. So forecast one. And uh, and then I can go here and I can put uh, E for error. So error, the error, a lot of times in textbooks, it's, a lot of times this is called the residual. It's called the error. Uh, actually, you can just calculate the very simple. It's the actual minus forecast. That's what that means in this formula here. A minus F, actual minus forecast. So it's just going to be equal to this minus this, All right? And uh, I need to just copy that down so I can just double click to send it down. And then, uh, and then uh, we have to square that here. It says here it's actual minus forecast squared. So I could go uh, e squared, which is going to be equal to this squared. And we can copy that down. And then also, we want to calculate the mean absolute deviation. Um, so, so deviation is actually, again, they're, now they're, here they used E, here they used A minus F. So, I have to understand E equals A minus F. So, it's the same thing. So, it's just going to, so we could just say for absolute value, the sign for absolute value is uh, this, right? The two upright lines. So, we can just do that. And then uh, I can go equals. And Excel ABS is a formula for absolute value. So I can do that and copy that down. All right. Um, so we can also do the other one. So I can go uh, equals forecast two and copy that down. And then what we can do, we can just take all these and copy them and paste them here. And let me. Make sure we get those to the right width. Oh. Didn't want to do that. We'll do it like, do it like that. Um, so sometimes there's a mistake. So let's just double check. So so what's it doing? It's taking... Uh, so these two things have to be this minus this. That's my E, right? So I have to do that. And then if I copy it down... Then it gets it right. We just double check. This should be that squared. A lot of times you copy things. It's easy to copy things, but you just got to check to make sure things are correct. So now I have, so I could call this uh, maybe uh, method one. And uh, I call this method two. And let me go ahead just, just to show. I'll go, this, sometimes it's nice to do this. You can go merge and center. And uh, what I'll do is I'll move this solution up one. And then uh, let me color that uh, maybe like orange. And I'm going to merge and center this above this. And let's just uh, give it something. I'll call it color that little green. So I know that I'm doing two different things here. I'm doing them both at once. Okay. So now we want to calculate. Uh, we can calculate some things here. I guess we'll just calculate it below. Let's start calculating here. So first I'll do the MSE. 
and the MAC is equal to, well, maybe I should sum, sum all these. Let's just sum, before we do all the MAC, we'll do the sum. Okay, so do the sum, we can just go auto sum. No, oh. so that's so that didn't do do what I wanted to. Let me copy that again. There we go. I don't know why that copied that funny like that. And let me copy this over here and paste it. Okay. And uh, the sum of the errors. That's one way you know if you made a mistake. The sum of the errors. Uh, well, no, the sum of errors is not always zero. I don't want to say that. Um, I better double check this one. This one looks wrong. This this actually should be. Sorry, I'm confusing. This should be. So that's why you got to be careful when you copy everything over. Make sure your formula is correct. It's sales minus this forecast, right? So then I copy that down again. All right. So now, now it looks correct, right? The, copying sometimes is quick, but you got to be careful, right? You make mistakes just like I did. All right, so so um, next thing we want to do is we calculate the MSE, and uh, it tells you how to do the MSE. It's the sum of the error minus the four, the actual minus the forecast squared. Well, that's that's what we have right here, right? So the MSE is equal to this sum divided by n minus one. Well, there's ten of them, so I can just divide it by nine. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and go F4. That way, when I copy it, it'll point to that nine on the other one. And if I copy it over here, and that's 8.4, right? Um, now, this is actually probably takes it to more places. If I go, remember, Excel rounds things, right? So, it probably takes it to a lot of places. But, so, I'll always be careful with Excel. It may look like it's just 8.4, but it could be rounded, right? It rounds a lot of things. It does that with percent. Percent that rounds to zero decimal places, I think. You gotta be real careful when you're calculating percent or something like that. All right. Um, so then, uh, next thing we want to calculate is the MAD mean absolute deviation. So now we have lots of different words. We have error, we have residuals, we have actual minus forecast. Now they're calling it deviation. Uh, so it's kind of confusing when they like use this, use the same different terms for the same thing. So this is equal to the sum of the absolute value, which is this, divided by the count, which is 10. I'm going to go ahead and F4 that again because I want to copy it over to the right. Oops, cancel. Dark in here. Hit F4 like that and uh, copy it over. Okay. So, pretty simple. It's just 42 divided by n minus 1. Remember, for a mean, mean absolute de deviation, just divided by n. So it's calculated a little bit different. Um, I'm going to show you. You know, I, I actually I, I would do it differently. I would do it like using a shortcut formula. I would actually, if I wanted to calculate the mean squared error, we get. Let's also we also uh, in this formula before I finish, I'm going to finish this first before I show you the shortcuts. Also, this uh, and also need the sum of errors, right? And we have the sum of errors right here. So we're going to use that later. So this is the sum of the error, the sum of the error squared, and the sum. Okay, so that's, sometimes this is called SSE for sum of error. Oh, wait a minute. Sum of squared error. Sometimes they call it SSE instead of MSE, SSE. So there's a little different terminologies. You're going to get used to the terminologies they use when they do this type of stuff. But anyway, um, so I'm going to show you a shortcut how I would do it. And not have to do all this stuff here. Okay, and just use the numbers. You know, like let me just do it up here just so I can do a. Uh, let me do MSE. Uh, let me take that merge and center out. Where, where should I do it? Now, yeah, let me do it right beside here. So we'll assume that I don't have any of this stuff and I haven't done anything. So I'm going to go equals. M equals uh, so the mean squared error is equal to. Uh, so this is how simple sometimes it's all. It's equal to these 
I'm going to go ahead and F4 because I want to copy it. Minus these. Right? And then I want to square them. Okay? And then I want to add them together. And I want to divide all that by the count of all of these. Minus 1. And I have to put this whole denominator in parentheses. Okay, so what's it doing? So I'm taking all of these minus all these. So Excel's like, what are you talking about? Well, well it's, then it figures out, well, you just want to do these piece by piece. That minus that, that minus that. Excel figures that out. These, we're actually highlighting an array. How do you subtract two arrays? Well, it figures out you just want to subtract each one of these. So that's what that is. And then I want to square it. So when I go sum, I really need to go sum around. I have to add another parentheses, right? I have to sum all of that, right? Each one of those squared. And then I say count them all. Well, there's 10 of them. Well, we know it's 10 minus 1, so I got to go minus 1, right? And if I hit enter, it should give me the same answer, right? And then I go copy, paste. Now this one, we just got to make sure... Uh, this has to be here, and this has to be on forecast too. And again, we can just round that to one place. Okay, so there's actually so so basically, I calculated this just off of these numbers up here. I calculated this just using these numbers. And I didn't have to do all this. So sometimes it's handy to know how Excel works. We can do the same thing with MAD. I could go equals. Um, the absolute value of these minus these, right? And then I want to sum them all together. So I go sum. So that, that's telling it one by one, find the absolute value of that minus that, find the absolute value of the error, then add them all together, and then divide by the count of how many there are. Now, remember that's not n minus 1, so I just hit enter and I get the same answer. I can copy it over here. Always double check. Make sure, well no, that's not here. It needs to go here. That one needs to go here. Oh, that one needs to go there, right? We're on forecast 2. So you get the idea. So you can do these using these shortcut formulas. I don't know if you guys know that, but that's pretty handy. Okay, that you can do that kind of thing. All right, so um, so next thing we can calculate, we can calculate the 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 uh, tracking signal. So that we're going to do the answer to A. So the tracking signal. Well, it's going to be equal to we have it right here. The sum of the errors divided by the MAD. So we have the sum of the errors right here divided by the MAD right here. And I can copy this. And okay, so let me see. Did I make a mistake here? Hold on a sec. Just double checking. Yeah, that's correct. That's correct. So that's the answer to A. But then also we want to know. Uh, is it biased? Is bias present? Okay. Well, we could say equals if the absolute value of this is greater than uh, this 4 we have here. That's what I want to know. Uh, we want to use 4. I'm going to go ahead and F4 that because I'm going to copy that over the other one. Um, if it's greater than, yes, bias is present. If it's not, then no bias is not present. And uh, so I can copy this over here, paste it here. Let me put some of these formulas in here. I put a few of them in there. You can always click on them, right? To, 
you can always, you can always go back and look at the video to see what, what I did to pause and pause and rewind. All right, so, so this is the answer. Oop, cancel. Let me highlight these. If you want to highlight non-contiguous areas, you hold down alt, you hold down control. So I just want to highlight this and this and this. And I'll just highlight the answer yellow. This equals that, right? All right, so that, that's the answer to A. And then part B, um, they want to know uh, the control limits. For uh, the control limits. And we have the control limits here. They're plus or minus 2S. So S is equal to the square root of MSE. And they want to use, here's 2S. So this S is equal to the square root of MSE. Hopefully that's not too confusing. This is actually pretty easy. It equals... Um, 2 times the square root of the MSC that you calculated up here. Either one. All right. I can copy this. I'm going to copy both of them. And I just want to make sure that this points to that 2 because I didn't hit F4 when I, when I put that in there. And uh, I'm going to hit Control and hit that and that and hit yellow and that's the answer to that. Okay, so pretty easy. Don't let it scare you. Just take things, uh, take things uh, one at a time, right? Don't don't try to do everything at once. Just take what am I given? What do I got to find? And then you're gonna go look up how to do some of these things, right? If you don't know. Uh, uh, how to do them, you have to go look it up. Sometimes you got to go look for equations in the book and use those equations. Um, anyway, hopefully that was helpful. Uh, my picture is going to come up here. If you want to subscribe to my channel, hit that picture. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you like it. Thumbs down if you don't. And give me any comments. And uh, hopefully that was helpful. Bye.